Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video, we're going to have a look at how we create this torn edge effect. Now, the first two things you'll need will be one photograph, and then also one torn piece of paper or card or something like that that you can use to kind of make this effect. It's much easier to photograph that torn edge than it is to actually try and create it yourself in Photoshop. So if we go to File, Open here, you can see if we toggle through some of our images, I've just taken some photographs of different torn edges of cardboard, of some paper here, and basically it's these edges that we're going to use to actually bring in and composite into Photoshop. Now the key thing with this image is that I've used a white or lighter piece of paper next to a black edge. So you could use a black piece of card. I've used a kind of laid out black piece of cloth here, and we can basically then create the contrast that we need to make a mask layer of black and white that will then kind of create transparency but also have this nice textured edge. So let's dive into this. So we've got two images opened up here. One is our torn edge and one is our espresso maker here. So basically we're going to create a brand new document. We'll go to file, new, and we're going to create an 11 by 8.5 image at 300 pixels per inch. We'll hit create. And the first thing we're going to bring in here is the image of our espresso maker. So we'll just come to this image. I've selected the, the move tool here, and I can click in the middle, drag up to my tab, and then drop this right into the middle of that image here. And then I'm gonna transform this down a little bit. So we'll go to Edit, Free Transform, or Command and T, Control and T on the PC. We'll scale this down a little bit. And basically we're looking for this kind of edge here, which we're gonna make into this torn paper effect. So you can see we've got two layers, our background and our layer one, which is this image. And then we can jump into our torn image and do the same thing. So this time we can click either on the canvas in the middle here, or we can click on the layer. And I can click and hold and drag my layer up right into the middle. And it's gonna drop that into that page. Now I'm gonna transform this down just a little bit. We wanna make sure that we're covering the full height of our image here and you can adjust your height accordingly and then once we've got this kind of set up we want to adjust the contrast of it now i'm going to use the levels adjustment layer to do that so if you come to adjustments across here on the right hand side we can select the levels adjustment layer you can also find that down in the layers panel right at the bottom that same option to add a levels layer now once we've got that added, we can come to our levels here and basically what we want to do is make the whites on the left hand side a bit whiter here and the darker areas of the image a bit darker. We want to kind of create a bit more contrast in here, which is going to create that nice sharp transparency. Now I'm going to just slide this across from the left in my levels adjustment. You can see the darker area of the images are disappearing there to pure black. We're losing all that kind of lighter shadow and then here we're basically able to create a much lighter image by modifying these. Now I want to keep a little bit of the color detail in those whites. So I'm moving my midpoint across and just then adjusting my white levels. But you can see I've got a little bit texture left in there. And then I can just kind of modify those black areas of the image. I don't mind the speckledness here of this. I can delete that a little bit later on if I need to. And then once we've done that, we want to merge these two layers. Now, before we do that, I just want to make a duplicate of this piece of paper. So I'm just going to hold down the Option key on the Layers panel and drag down Layer 2 below the other two layers. And then I'm going to select these top two layers. So the layer that I've just added those levels to, I'm going to highlight them both, holding Shift, do Command and E, or Control and E on the PC, which is going to merge those layers together. So the Adjustment layer here, the Levels Adjustment layer and the Layer 1, Control and E or Command and E, and merge those together. Now what we can do now with our layer below here is create a new layer mask. So to create a layer mask, basically we can highlight our layer and then click the little white rectangle with the spot in the middle, the Add Layer Mask option, and that will add initially this white image. Now into this white image, we're going to paste this adjusted Levels layer. So I'm going to do Command and A, or Control and A on the PC, which is going to select my entire image. You can see the little marching ants around the edge. And then we can do Command or Control and C to copy that. And then for the layer mask, we need to open that up to paste it in there. So I'm going to hold down the Option or Alt key, click in there, and then we're going to do 
Command or Control and V or Edit Paste. And that is going to paste that into here. So in here, I'm going to deselect that. And I just want to blend the color across here a little bit more on the left hand side. So I'm going to grab my brush tool. I'm going to make sure I've got a nice big brush and keep the hardness right down. And then we're going to change this to white. So we'll increase the size of this with the right square bracket. And then we're just going to brush along here. And we'll just increase this brush a little bit more. Get a nice kind of soft gradation from that texture to pure white. It just stops a hard line being there a bit later on. So once that's all done, I'm going to click back on my Espresso Maker here. It's going to bring me back into my layers. And I just need to turn off this top layer. And you'll now see we get that nice tear in there. And I'm going to delete this topmost layer. And you can see I've got the, the layer in here behind. So this is the actual torn layer. So now if I tap the V key and move this across to the right, I can refine the original edge of that paper there. And I can then have the kind of color of the paper in there. You can see it's matching up nicely if we do Command and Plus. You can zoom right in and you can see we get this nice kind of textured edge of that paper. So that's how to create the, the torn paper effect. You may want to also mask out, once you've got that layer in there, the edge of the, the paper too. So I can copy my layer mask with Option and drag that down to my other layer. So what that's going to do is if I unlock these two layers here, I can then just move this across the right and you can see we're able to create that transparency. So across on the right hand side here, I'm just going to grab my brush and my black brush. So I'm going to flip from white to black and we can just add a mask over here as well. You can see now we're basically revealing the background. Now it's not completely obvious that we're revealing the background initially. So I'm just going to come to my original image. We'll drag using the move tool another copy across of this. And I'm going to transform this up and you can see we've got that nice torn edge on that side we can start to play around with this I could drop the opacity I can hit enter we'll add another adjustment layer here we'll add a hue saturation adjustment layer and I'm gonna add the colorize effect here and then we'll also darken this up so we can kind of play around with this we'll get something that contrasts nicely with that topmost layer. So you can see we've got this nice torn edge over on this side. If we come to this layer now, and I wanna add a torn edge to the other side, there's a couple of different ways of doing this, but the quickest way is just to delete this layer mask. It will ask if you wanna apply it or delete it. We're gonna apply it, so that's gonna keep the transparency on that layer. And then I'm gonna hold down the Option key and drag the layer mask up from the layer below. Now what that will do, it's going to create a second layer mask here. If I highlight it and go to Edit, Free Transform, and rotate this, we'll increase the size of that a bit. Then you can see actually what I'm revealing here is the, the layer below. So I'm actually going to do the same for this layer mask. I'll delete this one, apply it, and I'm going to add this same second layer mask on here. And then we'll just select that layer mask. I can move it out a bit and I can get the torn edge on both sides. So a little bit of a more complicated move there at the end. But basically, we're creating transparency using a mixture of layer masks and also kind of applying those layer masks once we've completed our work with them. So that's how to create the torn edge effect in Photoshop. If you have any questions about this, then do leave a comment below. And uh, I'd love to see your experiments with this. Do leave a, a link below to any images you create. And I hope to see you on the next tutorial.